going to be one of those episodes where I'm kind of rushing to get an episode out there, so I'm not going to put up my equipment and all that, but anyway, this is time about the movies, and we've only got two movies to look at today, so I felt okay with just doing it this way today. Uh, we got two movies to look at. One of them I know a lot about, the other not so much, so let's go ahead and get to that first one. And that is Kathy Bates and James Caan in, in Rob Reiner's Misery, based off the book by Stephen King. You know, it says an awful lot when Stephen King actually likes your adaptation of one of his books. Uh, he's been notoriously known for not liking a lot of his ver versions of his different books that have come to life on the, either on the big screen or on TV, but... Um, he really likes this one. This is apparently one of his top ten favorite film adaptations, and... I mean, honestly, you can kind of see why. It's a really damn good movie overall. I mean, it works solely because of both Kathy Bates and James Caan. They work very well in this movie. Bates, in particular, really stands out here. She's given this great performance and, of course, won her an Academy Award for uh, act Best Actress. And, um, yeah, James Caan's really good in the movie, too. I like that the movie is very brutal. It doesn't pull any, it doesn't pull any punches. It just... It just shows you straight up how how dangerous this woman is to this author, and you got to give it to Rob Reiner. I didn't think he had it in him to do a movie of this caliber, but lo and behold, he did. And you know, honestly, I think these two work so well. Like I'm looking at some of these other names that they were looking at to get to play these characters. They apparently went to William Hurt twice, uh, Kevin Klein, Michael Douglas, Harrison Ford, Dustin Hoffman, uh, Robert De Niro, Al Pacino, Richard Dreyfuss, Gene Hackman, Robert Redford. Warren Beatty, they all turned it down, and honestly, it probably works for the best, because I think James Conn really fit that role very well, especially, and uh, Kathy Bates, I don't think anybody else could have played Annie Wilkes, even though they wanted Angelica Houston and Bette Midler, I mean, Bette Midler honestly kind of would have ruined it, honestly, I mean, not to say that Bette Midler's a bad actress, but you needed somebody like Kathy Bates to play Annie Wilkes, that's just, that was just too good of casting to to let that go off to the side, I mean... But, uh, yeah, I mean, really, there isn't that much more to say about Misery. It's a fantastic movie, a great thriller. Kathy Bates gives a great, chilling performance. James Caan is very good. The snow and the, the snowy effect of this movie and the way they use the snow in this is very well done. The visuals look impressive. This is it's great cinematography by Varian Sonnenfeld. Uh, one of his last films he did before he became a director and went on to direct the Addams Family movie the year later, but... Um, I mean, I have nothing else to say. This is a fantastic movie. I mean, Misery is amazing. If you haven't seen it already, definitely check it out. So, uh, let's go ahead and move on to the second movie, which I really do not know a whole lot about, Diamond's Edge. I mean, if Wikipedia can't even find a description or a page for this movie, it probably doesn't have a whole lot of memorability to it. I mean... I'm looking on, I've been looking online for the last couple of minutes now trying to find something that I can use to talk about this. But everywhere I go, it's either under a different title, it's either a different year. One year came out, one page says it came out in 1988, but on Box Office Mojo it says 1990, so. So you know what, screw it. I mean, I acknowledge that it exists. I acknowledge that it came out in 1990 on the same weekend. I haven't seen it, so I can't really comment on it, so... Uh, yeah, I've got nothing on this one, so... Diamond's Edge. It came out in 1990, apparently, so... That's it. And on that note, we're done. So, uh, that's it for this edition of Time About the Movies. When we meet up again on Sunday, we go to the final four weeks of 1990, and then midway through the week, we jump into 1991. We're already moving at a good enough pace here. But, uh, we're gonna end the year off on a good note. We've got some interesting movies, especially to talk about in the next episode including uh, Clint Eastwood and Charlie Sheen in The Rookie. We also have Johnny Depp in Winona Ryder and Tim Burton's Edward Scissorhands, and also The Grifters from Stephen Frears, which has Angelica Houston in it. But and along with that, we'll also, during this week, we'll have Look Who's Talking 2, Mermaids, Havana, uh, Kindergarten Cop, Godfather Parts 3. Uh, I'm trying to see what else is here. Russia House, Bonfire of the Vanities, so... Some interesting movies to end the year off, and then we'll jump into 1991. I think by this time next week, we'll be looking at the first couple of new releases for the year. So, um, it'll be definitely a good week to check out these next couple of episodes. So, that's on Sunday. 
Uh, tomorrow I'll have a new movie stop episode. I'm going to try to see Elvis tomorrow, the new Boz Lerman movie about Elvis Presley. So I'll have a, I'll likely have a review for that tomorrow. But um, if I don't, I'll do something else for you for another movie stop episode. So with that said, thank you guys for watching this episode. I know it's kind of rushed. I know it's not my usual style here, but... Today was a week that I could honestly. Today was a week that I can honestly do this lesser of an of a of a quality episode. So thank you guys for watching. As always, uh, next time around we'll definitely be back to our normal thing. But if you want to see more episodes like this, uh, check out the page with the previous episodes. Check out the check out the playlist with the movies of nineteen ninety so far. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for a new movie stop episode, and then Sunday for a new time about the movies. So. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. And until then, take care.